hockey, it's ruthless. From bone-crushing checks to controversial clashes, these are the hits that cross the line and spark debates. Buckle up as we explore the edge of aggression in more of the NHL's dirty hits. On October 21st, 2023, Flames battled against Blue Jackets, and the Flames were pushing hard to tie the score. Rasmus Anderson decided to take a chance that would soon become infamous. As Patrick Laine of the Blue Jackets fired a shot toward the empty net, Anderson delivered a hit that became the center of debate. The hit was high, directly to Laine's head, and long after the puck was gone. Anderson received a major penalty and a four-game suspension for a hit deemed too late and too dangerous. June 6, 2011, Game 3 of the Stanley Cup Playoffs, Canucks vs. Bruins. The series was already intense, with both teams heated. Then, in split second, Aaron Rome of the Canucks lined up a hit on Nathan Horton of the Bruins. Horton, who had just passed the puck, didn't see it coming. The hit was hard, blindside, and it sent Horton straight to the ice with a concussion, ending his playoffs run right there. Rome got a five-minute major, but the real aftermath was felt by both teams as the series took on a new level of intensity. On May 23, 2021, the Canadiens were about to clinch a playoff series win against the Jets. The clock was ticking down, and Jake Evans was closing in on an empty net goal that would seal the deal. That's when Mark Shifley of the Jets charged down the ice and collided with Evans just as he scored. Sending Evans crashing to the boards, the hit was brutal, leading to a major penalty for Shifley and a stretcher for Evans, who suffered a concussion and neck strain. Moreover, NHL gave two-game suspension to Shifley. On January 7, 2017, an NHL game between the Chicago Blackhawks and Winnipeg Jets turned intense. Mid-game, Jake McCabe of the Blackhawks spotted Line A near center ice. McCabe, known for his solid defense, delivered a staggering hit to Line A just as he released the puck. The collision was so forceful that Line A was left sprawled on the ice, momentarily knocked out. The aftermath was chaotic with players from both teams jumping into a fray, and McCabe received a roughing penalty. During a preseason game on October 1st, 2018, Tom Wilson of the Washington Capitals made headlines with a hit against Oscar Sundquist of the St. Louis Blues. He caught Sundquist off guard and delivered a powerful check to the head, a move that immediately drew concern. Sundquist was forced to leave the game for a concussion evaluation, while Wilson faced ejection. The rivalry between the Calgary Flames and Edmonton Oilers is legendary, and on January 11, 2020, it reached a boiling point. Matthew Kachuk of the Flames had been targeting Zach Cassian of the Oilers throughout the game and delivered a blindside hit behind the Flames' net. Cassian, having had enough of Kachuk's antics, responded with fury. He dropped his gloves and took on Kachuk directly, overpowering him in a one-sided fight that had fans on their feet. Both players were penalized for their roles in the altercation. On May 24th, 2023, during Game 4 of the NHL Eastern Conference Finals, the Carolina Hurricanes faced a must-win situation against the Florida Panthers. With the series slipping away, tensions were high. As Slavin went behind the net, Bennett charged and delivered a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder hit that sent Slavin into the boards. The impact was immediate. Slavin struggled to stand and had to leave the game, while Bennett faced a penalty for interference. The rivalry between the Detroit Red Wings and Vancouver Canucks was already intense, and on December 21st, 2011, it escalated. Nicholas Cronwall, known for his thunderous hits, targeted Ryan Kessler of the Canucks. In a classic Cronwall move, he launched Kessler along the neutral zone boards. The hit was powerful, propelling Kessler into the air and back down with a thud. Despite the force, Kessler managed to continue playing, while Cronwall earned a boarding penalty. In the heat of the Stanley Cup playoffs on April 21st, 2017, every play mattered, especially in a tight game between the Washington Capitals and Toronto Maple Leafs. When Nazem Kadri of the Maple Leafs collided with Alex Ovechkin, hearts stopped. 
Kadri's knee hit Ovechkin's lower body, sending the Capitals' captain to the ice in pain. The arena held its breath as Ovechkin needed assistance to leave the ice, while Kadri sat out on a tripping penalty. The Capitals used the opportunity to score, but the real relief came when Ovechkin returned in the second period, ready to continue the fight. On June 5, 2023, during Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Finals, the Florida Panthers and Vegas Golden Knights were locked in a battle for hockey's ultimate prize. In this high-stakes environment, Matthew Kachuk of the Panthers made a significant impact with a massive hit on Jack Eichel of the Golden Knights. Kachuk caught Eichel with a strong open ice check, leading to Eichel's immediate departure to the locker room. Surprisingly, no penalty was called from the referee. The intensity of the Stanley Cup Final on May 17, 2019 was palpable, especially during Game 1 between the Boston Bruins and St. Louis Blues. Tori Krug, a defenseman for the Bruins, became the center of attention after a helmetless confrontation led him to deliver a powerful hit on Robert Thomas of the Blues. Krug's helmet had come off moments earlier, yet he didn't hesitate to engage in the physical play, resulting in Thomas leaving the game. In Game 6 of the Stanley Cup playoffs on May 28, 2018, Tom Wilson of the Washington Capitals made headlines, and not for such a good reason. With Vegas in their inaugural season and facing elimination, emotions were running high. Wilson's hit, which caught Marcia so unaware and made significant contact with his head, led to a five-minute major penalty for Wilson and a game misconduct. Marcia So's inability to return to the game underscored the hit's severity and created another debate. On November 27, 2015, an NHL regular season game saw the Detroit Red Wings face off against the Edmonton Oilers. Known for his physical play, Nicholas Cronwall of the Detroit Red Wings executed a powerful check, driving Letestu head first into the boards with a shoulder to shoulder contact that was both clean and forceful. The aftermath of the hit saw Cronwall penalized for boarding, while Letestu had to leave the game for concussion evaluation. During Game 4 of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on May 21, 2021, the rivalry between the Washington Capitals and Boston Bruins intensified. Right after Marchand released the puck, Ovechkin's hit sent him flying into the boards, a testament to Ovechkin's strength and the playoffs' high stakes. Despite receiving a boarding penalty, Ovechkin's hit was a pivotal moment in the game, with Marchand shaken, but continuing to play. The game on December 11th, 2023, between the Florida Panthers and Columbus Blue Jackets turned volatile, when Nick Cousins landed a controversial hit on Eric Goodbranson. Just seconds into the third period, Cousins' hit behind the net initially drew a major penalty, later reduced to a minor after review. Good Branson's retaliation, taking Cousins down and engaging in a physical altercation, resulting in a significant penalty for Good Branson, including a one-game suspension and a healthy fine. If these hits left you stunned, there's plenty more where that came from. Explore our more Dirty Hits videos for an adrenaline rush like no other. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for the latest in hockey's most unforgettable moments.